Welcome to your 14th tutorial in Discrete Math 2. And here we have an example of uh, inclusion and exclusion principle. And the example is a test made up of 12 questions with a total of 200 points. So in how many ways can the teacher assign questions so that each question is worth between 10 and 25 marks and must be a multiple of 5? So you have 12 questions. Um, they can either have 10, 15, or 20, or 25 points, and the total must be equal to 200. So we're asked how many ways can we do that. Alright. So you have... First of all, you have to set up the question before you choose your C's. Alright, so you have x1 plus x2 plus x3 x4 plus x5 and each of these x's represents um, one question plus x9 plus x10 plus x11 and x12 so the total of these questions must be equal to 200 so we have these are equal to 200 all right so remember that they must be divisible by 5 so divisible by 5 and must be between 10 and 25. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is divide everything by 5 to get rid of the um, divisible by 5 um, limit or, like, or condition. So when you divide everything by 5, you get x1. Actually, I'll just copy and paste it. You have this part, copy, and paste. Alright, so you have from x1 all the way till x12, and that will be equal to 40. 40 is just 100 uh, divided by 5. Remember that when you divide by 5, even the limits get divided. So your limit will be from 2 to 5. So that restricts your limit. Alright, so now we're done with one half of, of setting up the problem. The next is to make the condition start from zero. So you want to get rid of this two. You want to make it zero is smaller than x, smaller than whatever this will be. And since we're only subtracting two, then this will be three. So subtract everything by, um, by two. So each of these x's will be subtracted by 2. So here you'll have minus 2, x2 minus 2, x3 minus 2, all of them will be minus 2. And remember that every time you subtract 2 from the left-hand side, you must subtract 2 from the right-hand side. So you're going to subtract um, 2 12 times, once for each variable. Alright, so I'll go ahead and write it and I'll call it this time Z. So let's have ZI is equal to XI minus 2. And you'll have Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 plus Z4 plus Z5 plus Z6, Z8 plus Z9 plus Z10 plus Z11 and finally Z12. Alright, and that will be equal to 16. And 16 is just 40 minus um, 24. Alright, so now we have our limit set and everything is in place. So this is smaller than or equal to 3. And I shall have it Z. Alright, so this is exactly the same as the combination with repetition. I'll put a limp link up, up there, and if you, didn't, if you don't know what combination with repetition is, you can go there and watch it. Alright, so remember that con combination with repetition is the number of variables plus the result minus 1, choose the result. That's all that is. Alright, so our let C I be the case 
where set is greater than 3. So what we're doing is we're going the exact opposite of this condition here. So if it's greater than 4 than 3, then it, the minimum it can be is 4. So all you're going to do is subtract 4 for each time um, you choose a CI. So you have S0, which is the total sum, with no Cs. So there, is, there are no restrictions. You're going to have the number of variables plus the result, minus 1, choose the result. Alright, so that took care of the whole sample space. And now we want to find S1, which is equal to N um, CI. So now you're, you're trying to get uh, the condition where one variable is greater than or uh, greater, greater than 3. So there are 12 variables to choose from. So you're only choosing one. Since here you have CI. It's only one variable. And you have 12 to choose from. So you have 12 questions. You're choosing one to be greater than um, 4. Alright, and now our new equation will be the number of variables 12 plus the result is now 12 minus 1. Choose the result. And how we got this 12 is we subtracted 4. So if z1, for example, we choose any z at random. So if z1 is z1 plus 4, since here we changed the case for it, then to get it to be only z1, you're going to subtract 4 from the left hand side and subtract 4 from the right hand side. So what we did is we forced one of the variables to be greater than 4, and then we subtracted 4 from it. Alright, and 16 minus 4 is 12, and that's how we got this 12 right here. Alright, so similarly we have S2 is equal to N C I C J. So now we're choosing two variables, and that is equal to 12, choose 2, and same thing, we're subtracting 4 for each variable we take, so you have 8 left. Minus 1, choose 8. And then finally you get S, actually yeah, S3, which is three objects, CI, CJ, and CK. And here you're choosing three objects. But you're subtracting four times three, four for each question. So you have 12 plus four minus one, choose four. Then you got S4 is equal to, and CI, CJ, CK, and CL. And that is equal to 12 choose 4 times 12 plus, actually, yeah, 12 plus 0 minus 1 choose 0. And now we stop. There are two reasons to stop for um, inclusion and exclusion. One is that you're done with your variables, but since here we have 12, then we're not done. The second uh, reason to stop is when your result goes beyond 0. So if you choose S5, then our result is minus 4. And minus 4 is less than 0. So we stop there. S4 is our last um, condition we have to do. We have to do. Alright. So now we're trying to find N, C, I, C, J, C, K, C, L, not. So the cases where all of these are less than or equal to 3. So what we did is we changed the, con the condition to being not true, so we went to the exact opposite, and then we're negating it, so we get the actual um, condition, which is has to be between 0 and 3. So we made it greater than 3, and then we made it uh, between 3 and 0 again. Alright, and that is equal to S0 minus S1 plus S2 minus S3 plus S4. Alright, so I'll just plug these numbers values in. So you have your S0 is um, 12 plus 16 minus 1. That's 27 to 16. So you got 27 to 16 minus S1, which is 12 choose 1 and 23 choose 12. So you got 12 choose 1, 
23 choose 12 plus now s2 s2 is 12 choose 2 and 19 choose 8 so you got 12 choose 2 times 19 choose 8 minus s3 and that is 12 choose 3 times 15 choose 4 and lastly plus 12 choose 4 and 11 choose 0 and that is the number of ways where you can choose um, set up a set up a test with 12 questions with all the um, uh, with each question being between 10 to 25 marks and has to be a multiple of 5 if you calculate all of this here that should give you the number of ways that you can do it all right if you have any questions please leave me a comment i know this is a bit of um, a tedious um, operation but uh, with practice it, it's actually very easy all right i hope this video made some sense please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video